So today we're looking at our boy Rashi, the 85 Magic Knights. It's a beautiful card. It's a very nice upgrade for him. The five star, three star with a power shot plus. Can still play left wing, striker and left mid, having a wonderful upgrade. He's definitely one that I would suggest in this uh, kind of evolution. It is coming in at 50,000 coins or 800 FC points. Um, it, it's decent enough, I'd say. If you've already got necessarily a solid 2 or 1 striker, then maybe you don't quite need to do it. But I think as this upgrade for Rashi is, this is probably going to be one of the best ones that we'll find for right now. And then we'll kind of go a couple of months and we'll find another one to take him up that next level. If he doesn't already get uh, performance-based or out of performance-based, which more than likely, card for FC. So let's jump straight into him. We're going to go into him and see what he can do. The power shot plus is very nice in certain scenarios. We have got him linked up with Haaland up front. Let's see what he can do and let me know who you're going to do. Now, obviously, with him, the, the kind of only thing that I would like more is a bit of weak foot. That, that's kind of the only thing that I'd say he's kind of lacking a little bit, but we can still make him absolutely work in this can we get the header across? Oh, if only he weren't offside. But I would say as well, the Power Shot Plus is... It's not necessarily semi-broken because I think it is just as effective as it is last year. But the big thing with it is the defenders are just not quite on that level to block it. Obviously, not everybody has got a Playstyle Plus and everybody is using a little bit of Rashford. He was winding up for that Power Shot Plus. I saw it a mile off. Good turn from Rashi. We find a bit of Haaland in. It's a great through ball. Looking for him back into the power shot. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I risked it there, to be honest. Haaland definitely could have got it in himself, but a beautiful pass. And the defense didn't quite get in the way, which is lovely to see. Oh, look at that. Good ball. Second in. Across goal with the power shot. Oh, I nearly moved the angle of it. The keeper was slightly coming out a little bit. Good interception. Can we find? Not having necessarily any of them play style pluses. Link up into power shot. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to hit and hope. I think the good thing with this game is not necessarily always getting the shot completely off. But definitely the... Oh, nearly. Definitely getting them little bits and pieces. I'm finding corners to be very effective at the moment. Then, obviously, if you do manage to get any free kicks from uh, a random stray tackle, it's it's definitely an interesting part to have into the game at the moment where definitely with corners, I'm finding, not everybody knows completely how to defend them, to be honest. Bellingham looking in for Rashford. Take it one step, get the second, and Rashford again Getting the win. There it is. Gets the shot. Wanted it to kind of come across him a little bit more there to get a more even uh, power shot, but didn't quite work out. But like I said, sometimes getting them uh, corner kicks is absolutely worth it. And again, ooh, get the right angle there and you're absolutely laughing. I got a feeling they probably will make it less effective. Like, it just, it seems to be that the, just the level of shot is is just incredible. They, I think they did it last year as well. We saw pretty much every shot getting nerfed from the, the finesse shots outside the box, which was fair enough because that was broken. But then we saw Travellers being nerfed. We saw then a bit of power shots being nerfed in terms of effectiveness. It, it will more than likely happen again at some point, but... Right now, just enjoy it. Like, you don't have to, to kind of really stress too much with it. Nice. Good save. Get the corner again. And again, like I said, bits and pieces are incredible in this game. And again, showing the fight for him. Ooh, Garnacho trying to fight back as well. Not quite working out for him this time. Oh, my. Even, like I say, like you're looking at 25, 30 yards out, and he's still absolutely slamming it. He's given us the perfect opportunity again. Not quite making it free for free this time around, though. There it is. Oh, I wanted the volley. I should have took the touch. 
Oh, what a rocket. So going into the overall then. So these are the players that you can kind of go with. If you have a look at Footbin, if you're not quite got your mind covered, obviously Rashford's going to be the, the kind of number one just for Prem Tax. And we know how good he is, especially with his uh, play style plus, which is going to just add that little bit extra for him. Now, obviously, in terms of the card itself, it's a very nice upgrade from his base. Obviously, when you do look at it, you've got the five on the shooting, three passing and four on the physical. And it may not seem a lot, but that extra little bit of shooting taking it from 83 to 88 is incredible if you was to go with a hunter you are looking at 97 pace 93 shooting if you went for something like an engine if you thought the shooting was good enough you'll be able to get into that 86 dribbling with the 83 agility 77 balance so there is a lot of different uh kind of chemistry styles you can go with that add that level of bonus now obviously finisher is another one with the 94 and 88 on that dribbling. So, personally for me, that's the one I go with. Having 89 in pace is more than fine, especially with that extra boost of the power shot plus, meaning you don't necessarily have to always run through. Because if you've played this game for long enough, you realize that... Not every time can you just absolutely run through and be absolutely fine with it. So it is a little bit annoying at times, but this card is definitely the one we've been waiting for. Now, I believe his 81 could have gone to the into the uh, yeah intro to the stat limits. So that would have been a little bit of a waste, but I don't think I'm pretty sure can it can it gone. Can it go into that one then? I say normally what you can do is you can obviously go in and see if we can add no more. What was the actual maximum? So we've got maximum 83 overall, 80 physical, 93. Oh, it might have been the play styles, in fact. So that might have been kind of where it's at for him. Now, obviously, I do think he is worth it. The price of his gold card is now 20,000. So he has dropped down a little bit, which is nice because I believe he went all the way up to maximum to start with. So it's nice to see him drop back down just that little bit. Now, overall, I would say he's my uh, kind of favorite. A little bit of bias, obviously, I'm going to say that, but also at the same time he is very good to have as like a almost like a little starter card if you can get maybe points instead of the coins and just pack him untradeable then that's going to be an incredible card that you can get in your team so let me know down below who you've put into the magic knights and i'll catch you all for the next one